First of all, I wanted to capture the Super Note screen to show you some details. And I am trying a top down camera here at my desk, but this is the first time I do it. And <laughs> I don't think it's good enough, but this is the third time I record this video and I want to publish it. I, I, I want to discuss this topic with you. This will improve with time. Okay, so the goal is discuss how comfortable or not it is to read on this screen size. Keep in mind that this is a Nomad, it's the smaller size, and I'm not going into detail. I'm not talking about annotations or everything that you can do. My goal today is to show you how comfortable or not it is to read PDFs, EPUBs, and Kindle files on this device. Let's start with this PDF here with two columns. As you can see, the font is pretty small. We can compare it to the tip of the pen here. Fortunately, we can zoom in like this, and I found out that about 200 is what is comfortable for me. I also set the moving to two fingers, so I don't accidentally move a page. But as you can see, it's pretty comfortable to read. Uh, you can move it from here to, and two columns is great. You can also take notes here. And if you zoom out, that will shrink with the text, okay? So pretty good. Now let's take a look at another type of PDF, this one here, which is a single page, no columns dividing the text. And as you can see, this is impossible to read. We can zoom in like the other one, but it's not comfortable. I have to keep moving this little box to read the text, not comfortable at all. However, we can do this and now we have it in landscape mode. The problem is, can you see there? There's some space here and here that I could use, but there is no way to zoom in in landscape mode. At least I don't know how to do it. I would love to use the Super Note to read all my PDFs because this is an amazing screen, but it's been a hit and miss. It, it, it depends on what PD, the size and the format, the font, and so many variables. Uh, there's also a trim feature. You can trim them and to, to get rid of the, the side spaces, uh, but that only works on the uh, vertical or orientation. The moment you switch it to landscape, the trim is gone and there is no option to trim in landscape mode. So if you know a way to make this kind of reading better on the Nomad, size, please leave a comment below. This will help a lot of people, I'm sure, <laughs> and will help me too. <laughs> okay, let's talk about uh, EPUBs. This is one of my articles I converted using Google Docs Converter, but because this is an EPUB, I can change the font size, the margins, and save it. And now I have something that is very comfortable to read. This is a good font size for me. It's great for reading, but there's a catch. The moment I annotate, yes, you can annotate on EPUBs. I cannot change the font anymore. And that's something I can technically relate to, but it's an inconvenience. I see two problems here. The first one is, although I'm comfortable with a font size right now if I'm reading something, it doesn't mean that I, I will always be comfortable with that font size on that particular book. I might want to make it larger or smaller, and that's a big inconvenience. And the other one, uh, I've been testing all these formats for a while now, is accidental uh, handwriting. <laughs> it happened just once, to be to be honest, but it happened. I opened a book, the pen was, the pen icon was selected, and I accidentally touched the screen. It was a 
tiny little dot, but of course, it's an annotation. At that point, the only thing that came to my mind was deleting that EPUB and uploading it again. There's a workaround though. If all, all these annotations, the PDF annotations and the EPUB annotations, they are separate files. You cannot see them on the SuperNote, but if you are synchronizing your SuperNote with, uh, uh, let's say, Google Drive, you see another file with the same name of the file, the PDF for the EPUB, with the, uh, uh, what's the extension? It is mark, dot mark. Look for the dot mark file and delete that. Just be careful because if you delete that, all the annotations will be deleted. I love the EPUB format. I think uh, we should be using universal formats like EPUB, but I, I don't have, unfortunately, I don't have many books. Uh, I've been using a Kindle since forever. But the moment I started using the SuperNote, one of my the pro, one of the projects I had in mind was to convert my library, gradually convert my library to the EPUB format and keep them in the SuperNote. I'll still do that, but I'm now a little bit concerned about this annotation thing because it's a little bit, it's a little inconvenience. Uh, we can delete the dot mark file if something happens, but again, I would love to be able to uh, zoom in and zoom out, not, not zoom in and out, uh, mark, uh, change the font size and the margins and keep the annotations. I think that it is not possible because the EPUB works in a different way com compared to a, a, a PDF. A PDF is kind of a, a print, and if you zoom in and out, you are you are zooming in and out the print. So it's just, it's it's like a zoom, but the EPUB is a different thing. You are rearranging the words on the screen, so. I, I, I kind of understand the problem there, why it's not possible to annotate and change the font size. But even understanding that, <laughs> it's an inconvenience. Okay, let's take a look at the Kindle app. To read Kindle books on your SuperNote, all you have to do is add the Kindle app. And if you are a Kindle user, you'll find everything here familiar. It, it, it's just like the Kindle app or just like a Kindle, okay? So you can, for example, tap here to change the font size and everything that you have available on the Kindle app is here. The only inconvenience here is selecting text. If I try to do it with my finger, I can do it. It's okay. It works almost all the time and it's working right now because I'm recording the video. <laughs> but sometimes when I try to do it, it, it doesn't work. Okay, it's working out. Anyway, sometimes it just goes to another page. I don't know, maybe it's the way I do it. I do it too fast. I don't know, it's not, it's not happening now. But I trained myself to always use the pen because it's much more precise if I do it like this. So this is the only inconvenience. And of course, the problem is not happening right now just because I'm filming it. Apart from the problem you didn't see happening, the, the tag selection, it happens a lot. But of course, I'm filming, <laughs> it didn't happen. Uh, uh, there's a size. I love to read holding the Kindle like this or like this, holding it in my hand like this. It, it's very comfortable to read like this. The This is such a, a, a an irony, right? Because the size is what's preventing me to read PDFs. The super note is too big to hold like this. You can, it's possible, but it's too big. And it, it's not, you can read it with one hand, but I'm always reaching out to the other side. And remember this guy here? <laughs> okay, that screen, <laughs> I'm always afraid of damaging this, the, this Super Note screen. My Kindle, on the other hand, uh, uh, it fell many times. It's okay, and it's a, a much cheaper device. So I'm, I take good care of my devices, but 
I'm never worried about, uh, let's say, reading on a crowded subway when I'm holding the candle. And I'm, it comes to my mind, somebody bumping at me and uh, my supernode falling and damaging the screen. It's not, it's not something that I'm constantly thinking about, but it comes to mind. However, I completely switched from the Kindle to the Supernote because I'm not going to be carrying two devices around and that the screens are almost the same, the quality. I, I don't even know if there's any difference, technically speaking. I, I, I love both. Uh, they are both very comfortable to read. Reading is something I'm doing a lot on the Supernote, but mostly Kindle books. I'll keep trying. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying uh, to get PDFs, right? I don't know if it will be possible because some of them end up with a font size so small that it's impossible to read, but I'll keep trying. I would love to read PDFs here because the, the screen is so good. But there's another thing I've been doing a lot, sketching. And if you're following me on social media, you saw my, my, my posts. I'm sketching a lot. I use it almost every day, but it's not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a, an artist. It's sketching projects. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there will be another video about sketching. Uh, I'm really enjoying it for that. Uh, if there's something I miss, I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure, I, I'm almost positive I did miss many things here. Uh, please help us. Uh, maybe you have a solution for this PDF problem, uh, the EPUB. Please help us in the, in the comments below. As you know, I'm not a specialist. I'm learning as I go, and I want to share this, the, how hard it is, how easy it is to do things on the Super Note. If this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here on the channel, consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube. Thanks for watching. See you soon.